Hello everyone, my name is Natalie and I work at a museum in Oregon in the United States. Oregon is in the north part of the United States. I'm so happy to be with you all today. Can you guess where I am? Right here? I'm in the museum, but hmm, there are a lot of things around here. Certain things, maybe these things. What are these? Hmm. Give you an example of what I'm talking about. These things here, do you know? Hmm. What is this called? It's a book. Can you say book for me? Book. Do you have a favorite book? Very interested to know. Hmm. That would be very interesting. Well, here we're in a little library in the museum. And this is where we do some research. Researching, hmm. If I was going to research, I would look through some books. Whoops. And I would read and read the Oregon Historical Quarterly. Wow. Fall 1979. It's a magazine about Oregon. So, there are many things to learn about. Today, I would like to, well, I would like to say hello to you all and to sing a song with you and read a story. What do you think? Does that sound fun? Well, I hope you join me. It's going to be really great. I have here an instrument. Does anyone know what kind of instrument this is? Do you think? It's a ukulele ukulele which is kind of like a tiny guitar but can you tell what color it is oh look you can see me reflected it's not nice so this color is kind of dark purple but it's it's a little difficult to see but no worries no worries well this song is about the sun the sun oh, do you like the sun i like the sun on those nice sunny days when it's warm and the sun is big and yellow and it's in the sky and this song is called you are my sunshine so the light coming from the sun. You are my sunshine. The light coming from the sun. Oh, very nice. It's a very sweet song. So let's do this and we can sing together. I will sing a line and you can repeat. So we will start with me. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. All right, let's do that together. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. That's great. The next line is going to be, you make me happy. You make me happy. Can you sing that? You make me happy. When skies are gray, when skies are gray, 
You'll never know, dear. You'll never know, dear. How much I love you. How much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Very good, everyone. Thank you for singing with me. Let's do it with some ukulele now. What do you think? All right. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. Please don't take my sunshine away. Good job, my friends. If you can sing it faster, next time we can sing it a little faster. You're doing great. You are doing so well. Next time we can sing it faster if you want. All right, everyone. Well, just the last thing. To, to share with you that I have today that I have to share with you is called a book. <laughs> Another book. <laughs> it's called No Hugs for Porcupine. No Hugs for Porcupine. Oh my. We actually have a porcupine, this guy, porcupine, at the museum. I am an educator here and I did a program with a video with this book and those, that animal. So it's pretty fun, but I like to show you the book here. Okay, here we go. No hugs for porcupine. No hugs. Well, do you know what a hug is to start out with? A hug? hug. This is a hug. A hug, a hug. Hugs are nice. Do you like hugs? Can you say hug for me? Hug, 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 hug. Yes. All right. So, let's see if I can get this level here. There we go. It says, to all the little porcupines. Oh. So, here we go. Oh, poor porcupine couldn't be hugged. Oh, porcupine looks a little sad. Sad. Oh, that was the wrong direction. All right, let's see. Whee, here we go. The forest animals who loved hugging each other twittered behind porcupine's back. He's too prickly, said Fawn. He's so grumpy, said Rabbit. Okay, so we got Rabbit here, and then Fawn is here, and where's Porcupine? Whoop, there he is. All right. Moose, Fox, Beaver, and Owl agreed. Who could ever hug a porcupine, exclaimed Otter. Let's see if I can show you Otter. Whoop, right there. Can you find Moose? Moose, 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 like this Moose. <gasps> yeah, right, right here. Yeah. Oh no, who is this? Who is it? It's the owl. The owl. And there it is, right? Whoop. Here, there it is. There's owl, owl. Yeah, very cool. All right. Well, porcupine looks a little sad and upset. What do you think? Yeah, he says, I don't need a hug from any of you. <laughs> and porcupine shouted into the forest. Oh, but you know what? It says here, 
that he wanted one. It was no hugs that made Porcupine grumpy. Aw, Porcupine. Look at that. He wants a hug. He wants to hug the rabbit or the deer at the bottom or the otter in the middle. The otter? Yeah. Well, my friends, we will continue this story next time. And so, we will see if Porcupine will be able to find a friend to hug. Why do you think that a porcupine couldn't be hugged like this? Why do you think his friends couldn't just hug him? Any ideas? Think about it. Next time we'll talk about it. Great, it was lovely to see you all. I will see you next time. Have fun with English and with animals and songs. All right, goodbye.